Hey everyone, welcome back to Call Fisher. Today we are doing some squidding again at the downtown Seattle Piers. Today we'll uh, actually be trying it out at low tide. Now I know that um, high tide is a for time, but we'll see if we can't catch any during low tide. Okay, so we are about an hour and a half before low tide when I got here. We're taking our usual walk to the piers from our parking space and it's looking like it's going to be pretty packed again. I'm here at around uh, 9 p.m. and yeah, like I said, about an hour till low tide. As I'm walking in, I'm seeing a good amount of folks walking out with their limits already, so that's a pretty uh, promising sign that this is pretty hot right now and tonight's going to be a good night. Alright, at this point, I'm already seeing it's gonna be shoulder to shoulder out there. This, uh, this place is looking pretty packed as expected. It's been pretty hot the past uh, couple days, so I think a lot of folks are starting to come out or are hearing about it and are heading out. Okay, so again, I would definitely recommend if you wanna go out, uh, either come out really early to get a spot, but if you're lucky, uh, like me, come out a little bit later you can probably grab a spot at the end after someone that uh, limit out uh, is taking their leave okay so one tip to uh, get get a spot to squeeze in is look for a, one where there's I guess the most space uh, between the person it could be between the white poles or something and ask the folks on the left and right to uh, make sure they're okay with you squeezing in Sometimes folks are, and sometimes folks aren't, and uh, we want to respect that just to uh, avoid any unnecessary um, escalations. Just looking to have a good time out here, you know, get some spin for everyone, having a good time. Alright, it's hard to see again because the GoPro is not very good at capturing low lights. Um, I think I gotta mess around with the setting, but as you can see, it's pretty hot right now. Uh, people are catching left and right. Tonight's another one of those nights where really jigs and colors doesn't really matter. You can use any jigs from any of the makers and you'll do fine. It's pretty hot out here. As long as you're out and putting it in the water, you're pretty much good to go. I heard it was pretty hot the, the hours before I got here, but as I am squidding, um, it wasn't as uh, consistent as it was during high tide squid are in and they are getting pretty big so that's a good sign in the uh, fall winter times as it gets later it seems it doesn't really matter as long as you're out all right so I was out for about an hour and a half and got about five pounds which is not bad at all for a um, low tie so let me show you guys how to make a simple calamari recipe that's pretty much great with them um, anytime Okay, usual process is uh, clean up the squid. Knife comes in, gus comes out as usual, guys. Uh, and this time you can cut it into bite sized chunk. You know, the squids are still a little bit small, so uh, you can cut them open and slice them up or cut them into uh, rings. Uh, either way is fine. Since the squids are still a little bit small and it's not too many jumbos, it does take a while to clean them, but still great tasting nonetheless. And uh, well worth it. Okay, once they're clean, go ahead and uh, rinse them out a little bit and then uh, get a little, maybe like half an inch of oil into your pot and let it heat up. Okay, while waiting for the oil to heat up, we're gonna make our flour batter. So just uh, some flours in here and add in your favorite spice. Here I'm adding in a little bit of paprika to uh, give that kick. You also want to add some salt too to make this nice and savory. All this is to taste, so add in as much as you like and uh, update the rest. Next, uh, we're going to prepare the wet portion of it. So just crack one or two eggs into a bowl and uh, mix it up. And that's it for the batter. Okay, so uh, here is the coating process. Real simple. All you want to do is grab a piece of squid dip it in the uh, batter and then dip it in the eggs and dip it back in the batter again. 
for a nice uh, thick coat. All right, once your oil is hot, and one way to find out is uh, put a piece of wood in it, and if it starts to boil around it, then it's good to go. Once that's the case, uh, go ahead and drop your squid in, just one by one, and be careful of the splatter. As you're putting in the squid, remember not to overcrowd the pot too much so that the heat can uh, be evenly spread and the oil won't go down too much. Okay, give it a couple of stirs in between. We're going to want to leave the less in the oil for about 5 to 10 minutes, depending on how you like it. Okay, once it's been around 5 to 10 minutes and the squid has reached the uh, texture and consistency that you'd like, go ahead and take them out. Put them into your plate with a uh, piece of napkins to help uh, trench out the oils. Here's the first batch, looking pretty good, nice and crunchy. Alright guys, here's the final products, looking pretty good. I got some lemon, got some ketchup, mayonnaise, got some tartar sauce ready to go. Alright, first step, we're going to go ahead and squeeze in some lemon on the squid. Oh, one more thing, don't forget to add some greens to this to balance out the flavor profile. Alright, that's pretty much it. This came out really great. I would add in a little bit more salt because I like mine to be a little bit more savory. A nice simple recipe, good, delicious for a fresh squid that was just caught right before. Okay everyone, I think the conclusion here is that uh, squidding is great in the fall, uh, pretty much any time, any period, and as long as you can get out there, you're pretty likely to catch some squid, a high tide, low tide, it doesn't seem to really matter uh, during this time period when the squids mm -hmm. are in, I think here late October, early November-ish, you're pretty much uh, good to go as long as you get out there in the time. Any jigs, any color works great. If once they're in, they'll be biting anything and everything. Except for this generic brand, uh, squid jigs. Stay away from those, and you'll have a good time out in the piers. Just remember to get there a little bit early if you plan on getting a spot early, or you might have to uh, ask a lot of folks to so squeeze in or wait till someone is uh, limited out and see if you can uh, squeeze in their spot. Oh, one other thing, if you make this savory enough, you can eat it with some rice too, to uh, mix it up so it doesn't get too boring. Plus, some sauce, maybe some uh, sriracha for an extra kick, and wait over hot, uh, steamy white rice. Yeah, give it a shot guys, and uh, let me know what you think. Alright, I hope this video has some useful information for everyone to uh, get out there and get some squid this season. If you have any questions on gears, techniques, or um, where to go, uh, drop a comment below and let me know. Alright, until next time everyone, thanks for watching.